All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we are going to be talking about Errol Spence Jr. and conversation out there about him firing his trainer, Derek James, again, and him getting a new trainer out in the United Kingdom. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're going to be back in the 147 pound division. Uh, I've gotten a lot of messages, have a lot of people telling me that there's new information out there about Errol Spence and Terrence, uh, Errol Spence rather, and what he's doing as far as his training camp and his trainer ahead of the rematch with Terrence Crawford. And once again, it is uh, from a lot of people that just, man, I swear, man, I'm glad I'm not their dog in their house because I know those guys get up every morning and kick them whenever something goes wrong in their life. But before I get into the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime sub subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much. It really does mean a lot. So let's get out of here, man. Get 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 through this because once again, you know, it, it, it people in boxing, man, like really tear down boxing for like just out of pure spitefulness is what I can what I can gather. So here's the information that is out there uh they're saying that errol spence jr has has fired uh derrick james the uh 2022 fight trainer of the year and has gone to the uk with a anthony joshua and is now working with devin haney's uh i don't know if he's still devin haney's trainer or not but ben davidson ben davidson is uh the former trainer for Tyson Fury uh, and he is a renowned trainer out in the UK so as a result of course that means Derek James is gone and so I went and I listened to it I checked out the sources for it um, I did not call I'm not going to reach out to Errol Spence Jr.'s camp or anybody like that on, on stuff like this um, because at the end of the day that's all going to come out in, in the wash um, I do know that there were some people in the camp, around the camp that uh, thought that it would be good to bring in some extra eyes and ears. Same thing Jamal Charlo was doing with with um, going to see Roy Jones in Florida uh, when after he's been and even though he's been training with Ronnie Shields in Houston for years. Same thing with Jamel Charlo, where Jamel Charlo has been training with um, Derek James for years, and then brings in. A, an assist another trainer and Juan Guzman and works with him right those type of things happen but neither one of those guys have fired their trainer so the idea that Errol Spence Jr. would go to the UK first of all that he would just go to the UK sounds like just a smart move to me I don't know whether he went over there on vacation and whether he decided to train so he's going to go to the gym that the people are in I mean people do that but if Errol Spence Jr. was going to uh, go work with somebody else, have some extra eyes on him while um, while uh, he's in between his training camps, that does not necessarily mean that he's going to fire or doesn't have respect for uh, Derrick James. And for me, I don't know about you guys, but I do listen to the tone in which people deliver messages and the tone that I listened to when the person that the people that were revealing this information was just so nasty and so disrespectful to um, to Derek James. that it was really hard for me to take it seriously because I'm going to just assume because of just how nasty the tone is of the person that really what they're doing is just they may have a little bit of information that could be very valid. Right. Oh, uh, somebody from Houston or I mean from Texas or lets them know, or somebody in the UK lets them know that Errol Spence Jr. is there. And they say, oh, well, what's Errol doing there? Oh, well, he's in the gym. He's in AJ's, the gym that AJ works out with then. 
uh, works out in the UK. And hey, he was actually in there at the same time Ben Davison was in there, right? Errol Smith Jr. and Anthony Joshua are friends. They worked out together. They hung out together in in Dallas, Texas, when Derek when uh, Anthony Joshua trains down there. So it's not crazy to think that Anthony Joshua could be like, Errol, why don't you come visit me in the UK? And, you know, come visit me in the UK. I'll show the UK. You show you the UK where we can work out. And they wind up, you know, shoot, what's the problem with that? But just the nastiness around the conversation around Derek James and the necessity to fire Derek James and how terrible the trainer Derek James is. I mean, it's just to me, it doesn't does it. It bodes. It, it makes me believe that it's that the rest of the conversation that you're having is not trustworthy and it is really tainted. It is really tainted with your personal dislike of the man and which we know there is a personal dislike among a lot of these people on YouTube, a lot of people on Twitter, just for the PBC in general. They've been waiting so long for they It's like they celebrate any time a fighter from the PBC loses a fight or when somebody is doing very, very well and, and they have a great few years and then they hit a little hurdle and all of a sudden, boom, you hit a little hurdle and all of a sudden you're the worst thing ever. Oh, I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. Same people that are predicting that the PBC is going to go out of business forever. Uh, Showtime's going to go out of business forever. Now Errol Spence Jr. is, a, is, is garbage and he's worn out and he'll never be the same again. And, and Derek James is a terrible, terrible trainer and Floyd Mayweather Jr. is the worst promoter that has ever come around. And Al Heyman is the biggest thief that there's ever been. And, you know, oh, it's t absolutely terrible. And, and oh, there's uh, Steven Espinoza. He's a weasel. And he's been stealing money from his grandmother's cookie jar. All kind of, man, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. With very, very little positive to say out of that crowd of people about them. So... What do I think about it? I think that this is going to be something else that more than likely is going to wind up being a misread of the entire situation. Um, it's probably going to be something like Errol Spence Jr. just goes to the UK, is visiting Anthony Joshua in the UK, hanging out, having a good time with his wife, maybe with his kids. I think his daughters may be in school, but his uh, son, I believe, is not, I know, is not old enough to be in school. And they say, hey, we're just going to get out of Dallas. We're going to take some time and enjoy all this money we made. And while he's doing it, he's working out and getting some getting some pointers or whatever, just seeing things from different eyes. But that doesn't mean that the man is going to be leaving Derrick James. And on top of it, as I said before, there's been plenty of instances of, there's at least another instance that I know of, of Derrick James, had, uh, somebody that's trained by Derrick James, working with another coach, for, uh, uh, you know, so whatever, man. But... At the end of the day, man, uh, I just think that, you know, you got to take it with a grain of salt what you hear with, with a lot of people. Um, people will tell, talk to me about or, you know, criticize me for the things that I say or my opinions. But look, man, I'm giving you my opinion. You will very rarely hear me uh, give pet names for to people uh, and run their name down and just talk about how terrible they are in areas that I do not have expertise. If you're a boxing media person, do you really are you really somebody that is qualified to tell somebody to, to tell somebody that they need to change a trainer? I don't think so, man. You know what I mean? If you're if you're just a journalist, maybe you can tell somebody what camera they can use and what the best microphone is to put in somebody's face. But other than that, I don't buy your expertise. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know uh, what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.